the Luton Who, a five-star luxury spa hotel set in an 18th century manor. With over a thousand acres of lush green land, your spot for choice when looking for that perfect peaceful break. Every effort has been made to preserve and restore the original features of this property, which is clearly reflected throughout this hotel. From the health spa to the mansion, this place is fit for royalty. This is very interesting. My wife set me up for a nice birthday surprise here. Not bad at all. We stayed in the beautiful classic deluxe room in building four. The rooms are spacious, bright and clean. His and her sinks were a nice touch and the bathrooms give you a choice of that hot bubble bath you've been longing for or a luxurious shower. We even had a surprise guest outside our window. Another great feature of this hotel were the free taxis that take you around the property. From the day this hotel was built in 1601, the Luton Who has always brought an enormous amount of pride to Bedfordshire. With guests from the Queen to Margaret Thatcher, you really feel the history as you walk and explore the mansion. It's a perfect venue for that special celebration or even a spot of afternoon tea. And what I like about it is the fact that the plates are so hot, which makes my food better than my hot food. So it's really nice. We have spent a lovely night at the Luton Who Hotel. Had a fantastic time. I mean, I just feel at peace. There's like greenery everywhere. 
Um, we just had breakfast and behind me this is the um, this is building four where we stayed in the country club rooms country club deluxe I think it was but the rooms are massive and you know you really feel like you're somewhere where the Queen stays and actually she did stay here for her what was it her 60th birthday she stayed over in the mansion so it's been really really nice we're gonna go for a walk we've hired some um, bikes um, and I think we're gonna go to the spa and do some swimming and you know just really go and relax and have a steam and a sauna it is absolutely fantastic if you want a little getaway come here and it's really reasonable as well the Luton Who you are spoilt for choice for things to do. For relaxation you have the spa and for the more adventurous you can opt for golf, shooting, tennis or even croquet. We opted for a bike ride. Alright so we're gonna start a bike riding now and it's looking like a lovely day nice and sunny so we're gonna take a little tour around with the bikes me and Marshy. So yeah, looking forward to it. Whoa! So fun. I really love this. You get the breeze, nice weather. Obviously if it's um, raining, it might be a bit of a myth. You might have to have a raincoat or maybe they don't give them out when it's raining, but to see the sights and enjoy the sun and stuff, so nice out here. Bike ride? Hey, you know what? We haven't even started. Yet, no. I'm tired now. I'm exhausted. But it's good. It's really nice sights to see and stuff. I'm dripping. I'm sweating. I don't know. I think this might be equivalent, equivalent to about maybe two miles. I don't know. Maybe more. But with a high uphill. Grip, uphill. And look back down there. That's where. We came from around the corner at the bottom. And further. Yeah. So we still got a way to go. If my man Brad, my, my man Bradley was here, he'd be encouraging me to go up. But it's hard. I'm dripping wet with sweat, but I'm gonna make it to the end. Let's keep going. Oh my days. This is torture. I can see a little billboard at the back. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, all right. That's just a landmark. We've still got a little way to go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> don't even look at me. Did it. I'm finished, mate. Yeah. We're now, we did it. We're now on our way, our way back to put the bikes down. So, yeah. We're just making our way down now. It's fun, but babe, that ch I lied, that hill. Oh, this way, babe. Okay, that hill was no chill. There was no I chill, chill on, that hill. on that hill. Trust me, I was serious. <laughs> You're right, we made it. <laughs> Don't go down that hill. That's what I'm saying. Don't go down that hill. <laughs> yeah, that was that was so good, man. It's refreshing because right now, oh, <laughs> right now. I've got the energy to go back and give the bikes away happily. But coming up that hill is a mental challenge. Shout out to the two deers that we saw, the baby Oh bikes. yeah. <laughs> There's lots of wildlife around here, but it's beautiful. A must, it's a must see, it's a must experience. If you like the country life and scenery, this is where you come. Definitely.